What's up, YouTube? Today we're looking at some 85s or things that are much like 85s. I was going to real quick show you uh, some of the bottle art. There's little bottle caps in some of this stuff. Um, so there we have it. We're going to move it. We're going to move on. All right, so this is a 85 easy open, and it was in salmon acrylic, one of nine. It's a store model until it was refurbished with marvel wood, um, or so I'm told, and I tend to believe it. I wonder why it wasn't asked. Maybe that acrylic just didn't turn out the way they wanted. So we're going to actually, I'm going to do an eyeball comparison first because I'm lazy. Interesting. So the queen is a different. Well, this isn't a queen. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. Um, the very queen-like knife is cut from a, a similar but different cloth. This is the. Hang on. Let me turn on my headlamp. Oh yes. Yes, that blinding light is helping me. The Chattahoochee Cutlery Club. As you can see, this is. Abalone, a little bit of file work. I mean, it's really, really well done. And uh, lately I've been leaving some knives out on my desk just to like have as references. Um, I'll actually grab all of them. But these two have been two of them. Um, and it's interesting to see that they are not the same size. Um, how much would this cost? I got it for 80 bucks off of eBay. I would not sell it to you for, I mean, we would be talking like 250 starting out and if I like you, you know what I mean? <laughs> like we, it would be a lot. I mean, I like teardrop jacks. I like bullet in teardrop jacks. I like abalone, I like file work. So I, wonder, I don't know how this light is coming up on camera. If it sucks, forgive me. Uh, you know, and obviously this is a giant, ginormous piece. This is a little uh, canoe in D2, yuck, yuck. Made by Queen, it's Queen City. Um, they've had some pretty good ones run past on eBay lately that I have missed just because there's been so much good stuff. So yeah, we're going to do a side-by-side -side of these two. And I really do appreciate an easy open just because it's so... I don't want to say necessary, but it's like very useful. You can pinch these guys open. Um, I have used these. I need to clean up some of that. Um, I will be doing that tonight. Probably not on camera. So this is like a before and after shot of a little bit of corrosion. It's a good thing I hate that edge. Um, something that's really you got to be aware of after you use these knives is you really need to give them a good wipe down. And, uh, you know, sometimes I do drink to excess. And well, it's not something I apologize, apologize for. It's not like I drink and drive. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't even do drugs right now, like. It's, it's hard for me to be guilted about the drinking. Like, I just don't give a fuck. Um, somebody <laughs> recently had said, uh, not that recently, but the guy from Steel City uh, Cutlery was like, I don't put anything that is, that causes cancer into my body. And I replied with something like, I recently started smoking again. <laughs> but I'm okay, I backed off the smoking. He is totally right. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, it's just not smart, right? That's, that's a dumb thing to do. 
It's also a colossal waste of money. Still got this bad boy around, even though you can break the lock fairly easily. Um, it is, I think it could be something that is part of the design. If so, it's a design flaw, though. Um, I realize some people do give it a pass, which to me is like pretty, it's a quizzical thing to do. This is the Dead Skunk Acrylic. This is the uh, Cheery Natural Smooth Bone. There's also a Micarta version of this that I don't have. Whenever I see it, it's like just enough where I'm like, ah, you know, like, you know, I like the Micarta, but at the same time, I'm not. When it comes to knives like this, I'm not a huge about Micarta. When it comes to knives like this, I like Micarta and G10 a lot. I actually like G10 more. Um, you know, it's just personal preference. I like the simplicity of G10. And uh, I even like rubber handles. Like, I'm not picky when it comes to the fixed blades. It's just got to be really functional. So obviously these are all the, but, you know, this is for comparison of size. You know, it's... Uh, it can be sometimes a little hard to imagine. These guys are about the same. About the same. Um, obviously this is going to be longer. And I do believe this is the only hollow grind on the table, which would definitely preclude it from being a, a heavy use knife, which you shouldn't be doing with knives anyway, like you fucking morons. Um, I get if it's a G, you know, a G10. I get if it is, uh, you know, 1085, 1070, 1075, and it's like a knife designed for it. Uh, but I don't, I mean, at some point it's just like, you know, your borderline slow. You should just not be doing this. Full flat, obviously. All the rest of them on the table have full flat. And like I said, um, this and, and th these two are out just kind of as companion pieces. Uh, I really like this, these two. I really like this one. What's funny is right after this came out, it was like it somehow dropped in prestige or whatever, desirability, um, which is dumb. That's a dumb. But I really, I, I enjoy this pattern a great deal. Uh, when I still had Rough Riders in my collection, I uh, this is what I have on my hat to help me, you know, give light to the good pieces. Um, but you know, I I uh, I enjoyed the Rough Riders. They they weren't that bad. Um, they weren't bad at all. If you really think about that, they were ten dollars. It's just that didn't want those in my collection anymore and um you know what's funny is that people were telling me stuff like oh well you know like what about the cold steel big knife which I don't, you know it's like dude my my ontario collection is less expensive and made in america and arguably like better suited to what i'm doing um made by people with a pedigree that is a little bit untouchable in my mind, to be really honest. So, you know, I get the, yeah, I get the, well, yeah, you know, I get it. I get the fanboy stuff, but in any event, thanks for sticking with me to the end. Hope you enjoyed this look at my teardrop bullet in jacks. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye now.